Virgin Islands is more than a vacation destination. It has been influenced by other cultures, such as Asia, India, islands of the Caribbean, Europe, and Africa. So we are a melting pot of various cultures. Our people are very much into the arts at all levels. Through the partnership with the National Endowment for the Arts, the Virgin Islands Council on the Arts is able to support artists and arts organizations here in the Virgin Islands on all three islands, St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Croix. In the early 1970s, Steel Unlimited, which was a steel pan orchestra directed by Rudy Wells, toured the U.S. and throughout the Caribbean. And out of their success, founded St. John's School of the Arts. They sought funding through private donations and now were supported by the National Endowment for the Arts. The impact that the arts have on children is immense. No dance, no music. No acting. I mean, what would life be? I really truly think that the arts gives our children a way in which to look at challenging issues in life in a more impactful way. Um, and it opens our hearts and minds. And I, I believe that that's so important. So I cannot imagine our life, an arts life on St. John, without the National Endowment for the Arts. Through the sponsorship of VICAR and NEA, work with the Department of Education, residency program for arts education is alive and well. Through annual festivals, individual art shows, individual artists, dance, music, theater, etc. Tillett's Gardens is quite an experience. You can't visit the Virgin Islands without going to Tillett's Gardens. It was established in 1981 and has always been an art center, producing art programs, uh, musical concerts, from classical to modern. It's the home of the Pistacol Theater. We moved into this space, which is in Tillett Garden in the year 2000. We have a very strong theater program, a subscription program of five plays, and a very, very active education program, which runs in the day and in the summer. So this has been a huge effort over 25 years to teach theater to our community and to train children in theater, many of whom have gone on to pursue theater as a life's choice career. Without the partnership between the NEA and the Virgin Islands Council of the Arts, mainly the funding for the National Endowment for the Arts, art in the Virgin Islands would be severely handicapped. It's a great partnership. We've been together for about 50 years, and we need to continue into the future.